Hello folks, it's Dave here. I've got a few minutes to myself and I thought I'd come on and show you what I've managed to pick up in February. Just got a few things, one toy and a couple of other things that I thought might be interesting to you Transformers fans like me out there. So the first thing I picked up was this. Monster Fun, a kids comic magazine. But for those of you who are fans of Transformers the show like me, and who watched their recent interview with Simon Furman. You may remember he mentioned that he had been writing for Monster Fun and specifically for the Leopard from Lime Street strip. So I saw this in my local WH Smiths by chance and I thought okay I'll grab that and have a look and see what that's like. This is actually the first piece of Simon Furman's work I've ever read. Yes confession time and uh, it's, it's actually a lot of fun that uh, particular strip, I did enjoy it. And uh, the rest of the strips in here are much more kiddie really. But I did pass this on to my 10 year old daughter and she really enjoyed reading the whole thing. So I think we'll probably be picking up some more of those down the road. And uh, I think I'm gonna be looking into picking up some of uh, Simon Furman's works uh, targeted more at a adult audience, I guess. and. Uh, read some of those because I'm interested in getting to know more about Simon Furman's work now. Uh, the other thing I got, a few more books here from my mother-in-law as a little gift, which I'm very grateful for, that was lovely, is these Ladybird Transformers books from back in the day, the movie one, which uh, inside I think these are just stills taken from the movie in this one, possibly. But that's cool, good adaptation of the movie in book form. And then a couple of other ones, Galvatron's Air Attack. These ones are more interesting because they have the uh, drawings that are more like the toy design. So you've got Ratchet with no head. So that's fun and a little odd. And then Laser Beaks Fury. And again, it's got uh, Megatron with a weird head. Etc. Those are really fun and uh, I'm enjoying those. And then the uh, toy that I picked up, which was in the clearance section of my local TK Maxx, for £16 is this guy, reissue Optimus Primal. And uh, he's quite good, nice big chunky boy. And uh, my only issue is his gimmicks sort of get in the way. So he's got this gimmick where you can do this thing up and down on the back and it's designed so he can beat his chest when he's in his alt mode really um, but it means that his arms don't really move independently of each other and they don't always hold their position very well so it's not great for posability um, but yeah that's cool the other gimmick is shooting these up over his shoulders which is a nice idea but then you get these big flaps knocking around which doesn't look very attractive uh, but uh, yeah other than that let's pop those away and you'll find yeah with the arms it's a bit of a nuisance there are lots of gears to make the gimmick work they sometimes pop up on their own as well and uh, <laughs> yeah so you find you have to hold both of the arms and try and get them where you want them and then hope they don't move independently again other than that it's very cool. He does look good and uh, yeah, just this piece on the chest with all the gapping is not that attractive. I've got my Kingdom one here and uh, they look quite cool together. I think this is good. I'm happy with it for £16. It's not as good as my other uh, vintage Beast Wars pick up the Scorponok I got just before Christmas and it's not as good as this Kingdom toy but I'm still happy to have it. It is a nice big chunky boy and lots of fun. I think his swords are a little small. They're sort of the same size as the Kingdom One swords, but he's inches bigger. Um, but they're still fun. And he does come with this weapon, the mace weapon, with like the skull on it. That's quite cool. And four of these missiles. And uh, there's a missile launcher hiding under this arm that you can flip out. And the ones behind the shoulders, I'm not bothered about playing with the missiles really. Uh, but yeah, it's good from a uh, play perspective that they're there. So yeah, he's got a lot of playability 
and he's nice and chunky and fun so I'm happy with him. So that is my pickups for February. Uh, let me know what you've got recently guys down in the comments. I hope you're all doing good. Thank you for watching as always. Uh, thank you to my subscribers. I think I'm up to 88 now. That's really awesome. I can't believe it. I don't know how that's happened. But thank you all uh, for continuing to watch me drivel on. I do appreciate it. And uh, till the next video, I will see you soon.